Um, so 5,000 years ago, uh, we had discovered most continent, we had invented farming, and it is useful when farming to do some kind of bookkeeping. But we didn't have books yet, so we invent numbers, and soon afterward, we invent writing system. This is cuneiform 5,000 years ago uh, in Sumeria. Um, this Egyptian was inspired by that, uh, and they came up with the hieroglyph. Uh, but while after that, in China, uh, they got the Chinese writing system. And we are like skipping century because I only have four minutes, uh, but the Phoenician uh, transformed the hieroglyph into uh, an alphabet. This is the only time in history that we actually uh, create an alphabet, but of course, uh, the alphabet was transformed into uh, the Aramic script, which is the ancestor of Arabic, and at the same time, the Greek came up with the Greek alphabet. And, and of course, we have Etruscan, Latin, uh, that's Brahmi, the ancient, the ancestor of all um, Indian script. Um, uh, at that time in Mesoamerica, we invent writing, maybe for the second or third time, we don't really know, uh, that's the Mayan number system. Uh, that's the runic script in Scandinavia. We make the mistake to come up with minuscules, lower case letters that will be an issue later on. That's uh, Arabic. Uh, the Japanese, uh, Tibetan, Japanese, the Cyrillic, Japanese, and, and uh, um, Davangari, uh, and Korean. At that point, uh, a few centuries passes, and then, of course, we invent computers. <laughs> my, my point is, text is complicated. Um, a few months ago, Kate Gregory gave a talk at SSCU and she asked, what do we mean when we say nothing at all? So day after that, uh, Kevin and he wanted to do something better, so he asked a more profound question, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, so, so let me maybe ask an ever more philosophical question tonight. When do you mean when you say that? It's not too bad because text, it's just semantics, right? It's just meaning. So you don't have to care about text unless you happen to have user, right? Any, any uh, application needs to deal with text. Uh, if you happen to write uh, the submission form for CPP control, you might want to have to deal with text. Uh, so maybe you can use ASCII, right? Uh, the problem with ASCII is there are two places on Earth where people mostly use ASCII. That's Silicon Valley, and that's Aurora, Colorado. Uh, because you cannot even write the Oxford Dictionary with ASCII, right? You have all of this world in the English language that you cannot uh, use ASCII for, right? Interestingly, uh, Latin, Italian doesn't have an accent. It doesn't have an accent in English, uh, even so it's an Italian world. Uh, so maybe you can use Latin, because Latin, after all, is used by um, more than two-thirds of the Worldwide population, right? So maybe that's a solution. Maybe you don't care about Asiatic languages. Um, the problem with that is that what we uh, think of Latin is more than a certain character, and that doesn't fit in a byte. So Latin is not the answer. So, so what you want to do is, is use WKRT. No, you don't, right? WKRT was never the answer. It never will be. Please stop using uh, WKRT. The answer, of course, is Unicode and UTF-8. So use uh, Unicode and UTF-8 everywhere. So Unicode was invented in 88, but we really don't like to, to talk about that, so let's pretend it was invented in 96. <laughs> right, and the reason you want to use Unicode is uh, it has 10 times more characters than any other uh, character set. Of course, uh, people think that Unicode is complicated, but the actual reason Unicode is complicated is that it tried to encode 5,000 years of uh, common um, history and civilization into one single system that works on computer. And, and people are really messy, and computer and people don't really go well together. Uh, because writing systems at that point are mostly legacy, right? We have been piling hack on top of hack for, for 5,000 years. But, but you cannot say that, right? Because at, at, that, at that age, 
writing system are flat free mine. Uh, fortunately, uh, all programming language supports Unicode, right? You can do Unicode in Swift, in PHP, in everything. Except, of course, two. <laughs> but, but we have library, right? So we have ICU, so it's a great library that was written by IBM uh, in Java and then converted with, by a script uh, to C. You don't really want to know, but you can use that and it works. Uh, you can use Cruise, uh, you can use uh, book text uh, written by Zach Lane. Don't use std local, don't use anything in the uh, local header, it doesn't work. Uh, we have uh, a study group, uh, LJ Sixteen, we are working on it. So we have uh, Carity in, in 20 and many proposals in 23. Uh, we work on, on, on teleconference every two weeks and we mostly talk about cafe uh, in Istanbul. Uh, oh, sorry, that's not right. No, no. So maybe text is too complicated. I, I, we should just go back to hieroglyph, right? It's way more simple, right? Maybe you can have hieroglyph with color. <laughs> and, and because I know that this is the only thing that you actually care about, I'm pleased to announce that there will be a new hieroglyph in, in Unicode 13. Uh, so before I give back the mic to uh, Phil, I want to give you some pieces of information. Uh, so I want to thank the Unicode Consortium for the work they do trying to uh, computerize all of uh, human history. I want to uh, thank uh, the Google uh, Noto project, which is the font I use for, for these slides. Uh, I, I want to thank Microsoft, who, who is finally support UTF-8. It only took 25 years, so thank you, Microsoft. Um, Peter uh, gave a talk about Unicode uh, earlier this week. Uh, Jean Menid uh, will give a talk about Unicode tomorrow, so you should uh, go to that if you want that thing. Uh, and as you see, yeah, li library support CTRE. Uh, so, uh, sorry, so CTRE support Unicode. You should check that out. Uh, I want to thank all the speakers that came from all over the world. Uh, so, Mikhail, Dominic, Mi Mihao, I'm not sure. If you want to know how you say that, you can ask Bryce. Uh, Martin Orjanowski. And all of the other speakers. Thank you very much. Furthermore, I think we should, be, uh, we should burn your build system, your build script. Thank you very much. <laughs>